Today we are back with a homeowner series. We will be going on a fall camping and fishing trip. A new campgrounds opened up a few towns over from us. There is a big forest area and a big pond. We'll be taking quite a lot of toys with us. We'll be taking the 2020 Ram, the toy hauler, the player Sebast boat, and the Fleetwood camper. We'll be using the Follow Me mod to get both setups over to campgrounds. Let's get loaded up and head on out. We've owned this 2020 Ram for a few days. I put just over 250 miles on it and today will be our first time towing the toy hauler and our first time seeing what this truck can do. This will not only be a fall camping trip but we are doing a mega camping trip and we are bringing both our camping setups. We'll be out there for just around a week and enjoying the last few weeks of the warm weather. I've been getting quite a lot of requests to do more camping videos. I will try to do more. This will more than likely be our last fall one of the season. Perfect. So we'll get this pulled out here. Now I do want to self-level the toy hauler with the truck uh, to give us a little bit more clearance as well. So we are out there, we'll do a little bit more clearance, and I think that looks to be good. Now we do have to do a light check really quickly. I'm excited to be back here going camping. I really do enjoy trying to go out as much as we can and enjoy all these cool mods. Looks like everything does work. We'll get the players inside, and then we'll get the other setup ready to go. Oh yeah, the ram is sitting a bit low here in the back with the leveling kids. That is pretty realistic. I hope everyone's having a great day today. Let me know how it is down below. My day has been a bit busy so far, but it's been overall pretty good. We'll come around back here, get the ramp put down, and I really do like these toy haulers. The last thing we need now is interiors, and I think that's all we need uh, to make these look even better. Now I did bring the bass boat from the lake house the last time we uh, came back from over there, which is going to be our first time taking it out, and that was the plan was to use it a few times before the end of the season. Now this Polaris is just so fast, it's just so uh, powerful, it's a bit tricky to kind of get loaded up as well. Awesome, so that's all ready to go. Let's hop there in the Ford Fleetwood Camper. Now, I did have to raise the hitch up just a little bit to give us more clearance. Now, I really do like this E450. Now, we do probably need to look into maybe upgrading the suspension just a little bit because we do get a lot of body roll. That's also, uh, we do have to take it slower around turns, but I think that a little bit stiffer suspension will definitely help us out. But I did raise the hitch up. I didn't like it being so low uh, to the ground, and it didn't really work. But we got everything loaded up. We'll get the uh, Follow Me mod ready to go, and we'll get the front door locked. Perfect, so we got that ready to go there. This will be a pretty awesome time uh, camping. And we got the doors locked up, so let's head on out. Pretty big camping setup here, and we'll be doing lots more big ones, especially this winter with the snowmobiles. We'll be uh, going to mountains, camping, going skiing, and things like that. I hope everyone is excited for the fall season. We are halfway through the fall season, which is pretty exciting. I really do like seeing all the leaves falling off the trees, and I definitely want to get the seasons mod uh, for farming some later for that realism as well. Now the camper is right back there with us, which is awesome. Now this winter I do plan to do some multiplayer videos. It is a bit tricky uh, to get a few people to help out, but I think that will be pretty awesome as well. Now a few modifications I really want to do to this RAM is to get tow mirrors. And this looks to be the road. It 
Let me know down below in the comments, guys, what is your favorite part of camping? I really do like just going out there with a, a camper, setting up, and just enjoying the nature, hearing the birds, hearing the water, and all that. That's kind of the best part about it. And it's also nice to get away and have a few days to rest and relax. But for us, we get a full week. So far this 2020 Ram is doing a great job. It looks so cool. And I, I definitely want to get some aftermarket wheels here for it. I think that would be a neat uh, feature for it. Now I did bring a few fishing rods here and a few uh, baits. So we should be going out on the bass boat. Uh, they do have a boat launch area for us, which is awesome. Now I think one feature of all of these trucks would be nice is to have the option to put the windows down. The moon roof definitely would do that. The tow mirrors is definitely needed on a big truck like this. And we are just about to arrive here, you guys. Since it looks like a pretty new area, there is some cool trails on it as well, which is awesome. And we made it over here. It's a bit of a drive, but it's well worth it. Now, where do we want to get uh, set up? Now, we already did check in. I actually kind of like this area right over here. So, we'll just kind of pull in and a little bit more. I think right here looks to be good. So, we'll get this disconnected actually. Before we do that, we'll get the uh, E450 uh, done. Now with this, I don't want to back in uh, with the RV, so we'll bring the RV over here now. This will be a pretty cool setup, how uh, we will have both doors facing each other, so I think that looks to be good there. We'll get the canopy out, and we'll get the players unloaded, so that's how we will do it, and that'll be pretty cool. We'll use the uh, Ram to put the boat in. It's a lot safer because that's a pretty expensive camper, and I don't know if we'll be having trouble sliding or uh, getting traction or even just having enough power to get up a steep boat ramp. I think we'll first have some fun here on the players and then I will take out the uh, bass boat. really do like the bass boat here and I definitely want to kind of look at getting another one here as well. Now I did do a video in GTA 5 camping if you guys would like to check it out. I really did enjoy that video. It was a pretty cool camping video. I actually got to use a similar uh, Fleetwood camper that's uh, in FS7. FS19 and uh, GTA 5. We'll leave the uh, bass boat back there for now, but let's hop here in the players and let's have some fun. This is always so much fun, this players here. It's just so fast, and we're just kind of cruise around here, slotting around just a bit. It's just so fast. Now, there is another stream over here as well, so we don't want to go too close to that and slide in. I hope everyone is excited for the winter months. We do have some pretty epic content coming to the channel. Lots of cool things and I can't wait for everyone uh, to enjoy all the videos. There looks to be some good camping spots, but I think we found a good area. Look at that, just so much fun uh, this Polaris is. And that's about it here with this. We'll get, kind of get it backed in here. Now, this is an awesome camping setup. Really do like how uh, we have everything positioned. We got the slide outs on the Fleetwood ready to go. Let's hop here in the ram and put that bass boat in the water. Now, I really do like the paint color on this. This truck looks so sweet with it. And uh, I do like the leveling kit as well. Now I would really like the uh, tailgate to go down, that would be a feature that I would definitely want to add to it.
And here's a pretty big pond, a small lake, I would consider it a small lake. Now it is fresh water and we are allowed to have motorboats here in the water. Now this bass boat only has a 40 horsepower Yamaha, so it's not too fast, just enough force. And then we do have a trolling motor as well uh, to go uh, with it. You guys can see, now it is pretty cool. I do actually have to edit the water to make it able for the uh, boat to drive on. Awesome, so what we'll do is we'll just uh, bring it right here, we'll get it tied up, uh, and yeah, it looks like we tied it up to the tree there, and we'll bring this back around. I don't want to be holding up the boat ramp just in case someone else is coming by. And it is definitely going to be a good idea to leave the truck ready to go, uh, just in case we have to pull it out of water. So we'll just bring this around here. Awesome, so we got a great campsite here. Uh, let's kind of go out fishing and have some fun out with Bass Boat. Now I do recommend everyone goes and checks out my Instagram page at square2448. I do post some pretty cool daily pictures, sneak peeks, and uh, updates over there. Now this bass boat is just so cool, look at that. And uh, I can't wait to really uh, see what kind of fish we get today. I think we'll kind of go over here to where the shade is and we'll drop in a line or two. I actually want to go over here where these uh, trees are and I think we'll stay here. Let's kind of hop on in, stand back here and we'll throw a line in. Now it would be pretty cool to get fishing lines but we don't have uh, the option to do that. And we caught a fish, looks like a foot long a bass which is pretty cool. Let's see if we could get a new spot. And there looks to be some shade over here. Usually they like shade and some growth in the water. And that looks to be a good area. And we aren't getting any bites here. So let's kind of go around to the other side and see what's over there. This is one awesome bass boat. Let me know, guys, what type of boat is your favorite? And also, what uh, is your favorite mod we use today? I really do enjoy using your feedback here to improve uh, these videos and let me know uh, what's your favorite also helps with uh, what we should use in upcoming videos. Now I think here we'll just throw a line and see if there's any fish under the dock. And looks like we're getting a bite and we got another bass uh, but that's going to be it here for the fishing. So we got a few fish that we could put on the grill and uh, eat and have a great dinner with but let's kind of come back around and we'll get the boat docked up. We'll leave it in the water, but we'll actually put a few extra ties on it to that tree there, and that looks to be good. And we did pull it out of water just enough that only the uh, back end is floating. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's fall camping and fishing trip. We got to bring out the 2020 Ram, the Toy Hauler, the Players, the Fleetwood, and that new Bass Boat. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one, and subscribe for more.